A new study finds that government calculations of total U.S. methane emissions may underestimate the true values by 50 percent. This cast doubt on a recent Environmental Protection Agency decision to downscale its emissions estimate. Carnegie's Anna Mikolak, Harvard's Scott Miller, and Stephen Wosky and colleagues used atmospheric methane observations from across North America in 2007 and 2008 to improve estimates of methane gas emissions from a variety of human sources, including agriculture and fossil fuel drilling and refining. The study found large discrepancies with government estimates in some regions of the United States, particularly the south-central U.S. There, total methane emissions were 2.7 times greater than those reported in most inventories. Emissions from oil and gas drilling and processing in this region could account for 50% of that total. They represent a source of methane almost five times higher than in the most commonly used global emissions database. Methane is the second most important greenhouse gas after carbon dioxide. These study findings may help inform national and state greenhouse gas reduction strategies, according to the authors. The team used modeling tools developed by Michalak's lab. They make it possible to trace variations in atmospheric methane measurements back to emissions throughout the U.S. and to relate the emissions to known economic sectors. The methods thereby provide a direct constraint on total emissions as well as provide insight into what's behind them. The results were published the week of November 25th in the early online edition of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. With the independence for nimble pursuit, Carnegie scientists tackle some of the most profound challenges in modern science fundamentally changing what's possible for us, our planet, and our universe.